This is what movies are all about. Entertainment. Movies hold memories. Here, mate, have you seen Taxi Driver? Can you relate to it, sort of thing? Loneliness has followed me my whole life. Everywhere. In bars, in cars, sidewalks, stores, everywhere. There's no escape. I'm God's lonely man. Twelve hours of work and I still can't sleep. That's all I can do just now, okay? You're only as healthy as you feel. You're only as healthy as you feel. I think someone should take this city and just, just flush it down the fucking toilet. I got some bad ideas in my head. The idea had been growing in my brain for some time. True force. All the king's men could not put it together again. All the animals come out at night. Someday a real rain will come and wash all the scum off the streets. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Then who the hells are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Oh yeah? Okay. Well, here I am back at the DCAs. I'm here to see one of the greatest films of all time, The Powerful Taxi Driver from 1976, featuring, in my opinion, the greatest performance by Robert De Niro in his career and I can't wait to see this on the big screen. I've seen it many times on VHS, video and DVD and Blu-ray but this will be a really nice experience seeing it on the big screen, the 4K restoration of the film and here we go. Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore. A man who stood up against the scum, the cunts, the dogs, the filth, the shit. Here is a man who stood up. Well, that's me just out of the DCA cinema after seeing Taxi Driver. And it doesn't matter how many times I've watched this movie, and it still has the same powerful effect on me, it's shocking, it's haunting, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful piece of art. It's one of the first films I ever saw in a group of films that when I really appreciated a movie or a film as a piece of art, piece of art and a general, like a masterpiece, it really is a masterpiece and it's, it's a film, if, you, if you're a fan of movies or any film in general, you, you should watch Taxi Driver. Originally written by Paul Schrader, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel, Jodie Foster, Albert Brooks, Sybil Shepard, Joe Spinell. Wonderful cast. Beautiful Peter Boyle as well as Wizard. Beautiful film, released in 1976, and it's another one of these movies. I always talk about films being a period piece, but it really takes you in a time machine. It's, a, it's one of the great New York movies. It's a wonderful New York City movie and it's really, really gritty and grim but absolutely terrific and I really loved watching it on the big screen. The big question in Taxi Driver is, is Travis Bickle a psychopath, sociopath? Is he a monster or is he a hero? Is he a vigilante? Is he a hero to you or is he just a little misunderstood? I think we all have a little bit of Travis Bickle in us at one time or another throughout our lives. Taxi Driver, one of the few masterpieces directed by Martin Scorsese along with my favourite Scorsese films include Mean Streets, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull and Goodfellas. They're my favourite Martin Scorsese films. He's got several other great films as well but they are my favourites and for me this, this film this film lost out at the Oscars to Rocky. Rocky won Best Picture in 1976 and that is an inspiring, uplifting movie, Rocky, but Taxi Driver any other year would have came away with multiple awards. But once again, watched another great film here at the DCA, the Dundee Contemporary Arts, and I can't wait to see the next film. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me.
fucking good film though, mate.